where do you get your inspiration for your piece from today? I would say uh, sort of, it's very obviously sort of superhero <laughs> films and all sorts of things like that, but uh, there was a great deal of sort of, I don't know, it was sort of two films in one. This is my very first experience of Moving Image Arts and the work that is produced as a result of the qualification. I am overwhelmed by the quality and the standard in terms of creativity and in terms of the artwork and the cinematography that I've seen today. I'm very proud of the work that the students have produced. Determination and hard work will you know, show with your talent. You know, talent is probably initially why you realise that you want to do moving image arts, but the hard work it really, and now whenever I say hard work, I really mean it'd be long hours, long days, you know, yeah. people knocking down your story ideas, but I suppose, um, you know, never giving up on those story ideas as well. I completely, I completely agree with everything that Megan just said. That's exactly what it is. It's perspiration and inspiration all rolled into one, and sometimes one more than the other, but it's, it's worth it. It's always worth it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Um, don't don't stop. Um, keep making, make as many things and getting involved in as many projects as you can in school and outside of school, and trying to work with as many different people as you can, and trying to put your hand to as many different types of stories and um, productions as you can, so you can learn lots of different uh, skills on each. My favourite element is probably doing it and just sort of getting down and working on your animation. I love the storyboarding as well, that's something that um, I always sort of enjoyed. I, I did that from the start. Even when we're supposed to be doing our shot list, I'd still be sort of jotting down little storyboard ideas, so that was something I really enjoyed as well. It's actually the course that changed the trajectory of my entire career thus far. Um, I ended up doing a degree in web development and within a month of graduating I was working in TV. <laughs> I was extremely impressed by what I saw earlier on and uh, like some of the uh, some of the shorts like the risks that they're taking and sort of creativity that they've put into it like I just I've, I've never seen anything like that before even in uh, you know fully blown feature films. I think uh, we've got a lot to be proud of. I love being behind the camera and using the operating and just visualizing and then being able to bring that to the bigger screen and seeing exactly what I see in my head on the screen it's just beautiful like the creative freedom definitely it's um, the freedom that you can do whatever you want there uh, you can do a sci-fi film or a horror film or whatever um, and you always have teachers that'll back you up and help you throughout the way we just really wanted today to do the, the subject justice, all that has achieved in the last 13 years, um, but also to inspire the students sitting in the audience today that they can do this, that they can find their voice in the material that they want to make films about and that they can express themselves to the world. Um, Northern Ireland is in a unique position at the minute with the industry developing beyond anyone's imagination. Um, and really it's wonderful that Moving Image Arts exists, that we can now help students to really avail of those opportunities and move forward into a new career for themselves. Today I'm feeling in three words. Um, I would say thankful, I would say humble um, and happy I suppose.